I don't understand, guys. I I don't understand how this one arc can have so many epic moments. I mean, the Water 7 arc and its lobby arc, to be real, I categorize them as the same arc because the same thing's going on on both islands. But still, this arc, I mean, the Usopp and Luffy fight, and now this epicness, I have to say that Robin has, she has to have the worst past out of all the Straw Hats. I mean, uh, Nami's was bad too, but I mean, Robin lost everyone that she knew and loved growing up. I mean, oh my God, this shit, it was so sad, but yet the ending, I Want to Live, was just so fucking amazing. I... <laughs> I've been waiting on this ever since I started episode one and it did not let me down. This is truly a legendary episode, man. I don't understand how this series can have so many epic things. Like, usually in anime, like, there's like one or two epic things, like every other arc. But this one, this arc, what is this shit doing to me, yo? I feel like I have to go kick some kittens or punch a puppy to feel manly again because I straight up teared up at the end of that shit, yo. Just how she said that is it okay if I actually mutter my dream, what I really want for once in my life, and oh my god, bruh. <laughs> What's going on with this anime? I mean, it's just one epic thing after another, the, the Luffy versus Usopp, the plot twist about the shipwrights being the villains. Like I said, um, I'm just not watching this stuff. You guys have seen this shit years ago, so this is probably old news to you, but fuck, man, it's blowing my mind. And then that second gear shit that Luffy pulled off out of nowhere, I hope they explain how he did that, but it was fucking epic, yo. And he has a third gear, too? What? I'm pretty sure... That's going to be shown in the Luffy versus uh, Luchi fight that I've been hearing about. And then Robin's past and this shit. Yo, I mean, this entire or this entire anime so far has just been delicious. Now, I'm crossing my fingers. I hope and pray to the One Piece God that Robin does to get a she-she-she laugh when she's an adult. That would be fucking epic. But just seeing how Saul taught her to laugh even when she's going through the toughest time, seeing her laughing when she was uh, leaving the island and she ended up crying that broke my heart when she was laughing i think it was a dog or a cat that came up and she said she didn't have any food and fuck man just her life man just going from place to place everybody trying to get the money for turning her in or betraying her and whatnot and originally when we first met her uh, in the alabaster arc I assume that her sick sinking six ships was true, but I mean the government is just trying to put shit on her, the dog. I mean I, I fucking hate the world government. As sad as that sounds, I mean they do some fucked up shit. I'm pretty sure there are some good guys in there, but the higher ups seem to be some corrupt motherfuckers, man. Just like how uh those two giants, I forget their names, they were told that their bosses were captive and whatnot. That's some fucked up way to go around some shit and just seeing what they're doing to Robin when she didn't do anything wrong and they just want to know the history of what happened, man. Just, just fuck, man. This, the entire backstory of Robin had my heart plummeting. I mean, this shit is on the floor right now. But when Luffy told Usopp, ex excuse me, Soga King, Mr. Lulu, La La Lu himself to to blow up that flag, I was like, dog, the entire world is going to be after Luffy in the game right now. I mean, oh, but this, the rest of this series is going to be nothing but people chasing him, and I cannot wait to see how that turns out. But Buster Call, I can imagine how it'll be, like, very traumatic for her at such a young age, but now, seeing as there's Luffy, Zoro, fucking Sanji, giants and shit, to defend, it was only five ships, am I right? I'm pretty sure Luffy could take out a ship, Zoro could take out maybe one or two, Sanji could too, and there are other devil fruit. There's a lot more people that are capable of fighting than on Robin's homeland, so, I mean, I can understand why she's scared of it, but in my eyes, it doesn't seem like it would be as much of a threat towards Luffy and the rest of the Straw Hats because they're so fucking beastly, especially this second gear, and who knows what the third gear could do. I mean, you guys know, but I don't i hope i get to that shit very soon but big respect big ups to my dog robin though man she is still saying that she wants to live after all of this i mean people you know suicide is not a joking matter or anything but people have killed themselves over way less 
than what this chick has been through and just seeing that she was able to survive all this and endure it. But I find it so epic that she is honoring her mother's last words to her. Robin, live. Just fucking live. And I mean, just the fact that she's been going through snow, the desert and shit, going from place to place, and still trudging on, still doing a geeshy, geary she 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 shit. I'm like, dog, Robin is a motherfucking gangster, yo. But I am happy that she did get to meet her mother again before she actually left. That is a good thing because when they ran past each other, I was like, man, it could not end like this. They cannot literally run past each other and not speak. Although not much was said, it was enough to keep Robin going for a while. And Saul, he was a fucking amazing giant man. Rest in peace to that guy. I mean, rest in peace to everyone on that island. Buster Call is truly a fucked up thing. And fuck that dude who blew up that evacuation ship saying, well, if there's an archaeologist, all just on here we'll all be in big trouble we have to kill everybody just to make sure fuck you dude i hope he's dead or he gets his ass whooped some point in this series but also much respect for alkaji for actually letting her leave because i mean i thought she just escaped on the raft maybe that the giant built but he could have killed her right then and there so it's thanks to this epic dude that she's even alive right now but i mean fuck robin has had such a rough past and but just like saul said she met some friends that is going to protect her forever and even go up against the entire world government for her i was like fuck man luffy and the gang destroy hats Robin, everyone in this shit is epic, yo, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next episode. Now, although Zoro is still my favorite character, Robin has moved up there. She's my favorite female character, no doubt, and I would say that she's either my second or third. I can't decide between her and Luffy right now, but... I mean, <laughs> this episode, it truly made me tear up, man, and I was not expecting, because I, cause I assumed that I Want to Live episode was basically Robin saying that I want to live, especially with the buildup of her saying that she wanted to die every fucking episode, basically, but, I mean, I did not expect for someone to say that they want to live, and me be sad by that. I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessarily sad, but just the feels, man, and just... It was more like tears of joy in a way because I'm like, yes, Robin's finally coming back. Like, this is the Robin that I want to be in the Straw Hats, man. But tell me what you guys thought about this legendary episode. Like I said, this shit is probably old as shit to you guys. But stay tuned to my entire Water 7 slash Anis Lobby uh, arc review whenever I'm finished with it. But I had to get this shit out right now because... I mean, this was yet another amazing episode. I had to review this one. But tell me what you guys thought. This has been JV Dutch. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.